there isn't a clear understanding on the part of the those folks who control um, television budgets. There isn't a clear understanding of what it is that they're getting if they move money to digital. Uh, from the digital side, there's a very clear expectation that uh, that, that the digital video works and that, that it functions well. The problem is the things that they use to measure, the metrics, the various ways in which they measure not only ROI but, uh, but brand impact uh, are not the same uh, and they're not, they're not uh, uh, familiar to those TV buyers, the, the people who, who they're trying to convince you know, or trying to, to, to woo into digital, te into digital video. Um, and what that means is that there needs to be a, a lot better education, and, and that education needs to flow uh, in both directions, but in particular from the digital side back to the traditional side, and to say, here's what we have to offer. There is Nielsen, there's Comscore, there's um, Kantar, there's various sources, and then there's some new analytic tools that are out. Is that stuff not up to snuff, or is it not widely used or what's the problem here? What I could speculate on is that um, part of the problem is that it's so different and uh, so dramatically um, uh, different as a medium and I don't mean that 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 when you watch digital video that you're seeing something different than what you see on the television it's it's just so different the way that that you're engaging with your audience as a brand marketer um, and, and how to measure the impact of that engagement and you know the fact that that engagement could happen in so many different places and uh, on so many different devices or screens um, it, it makes it very difficult to to predict or to uh, uh, to measure the actual effect so there are companies that are focused on this like the ones you mentioned uh, but I don't know that they that they all that they have all the answers yet either uh, they're still struggling to um, to, to put all the pieces together and, and paint an accurate picture. What about all the video that's coming out in applications and mobile? Where does sort of standardization stand right now for those kinds of new distribution platforms? It's one of the problems that we're, that we're trying to solve. I think I, I just use the term screens and uh, that's one way of describing uh, the plethora of different devices on which you can, you can watch video not just devices, but uh, applications as well. And what uh, Vast and VPAID represent are uh, a way of simplifying that, uh, the, the creation and the serving of content to multiple uh, applications and sites, but, but neither of them uh, currently address things like mobile devices or tablets or, um, you know, or, or, or how those uh, the introduction of those kinds of, of devices might um, uh, might complicate what we call the digital supply chain. Mm -hmm. So, so those are things that we're taking on. <clears throat> now, we're taking them on in different in different ways. For instance, the IAB has recently created a mobile center of excellence, and the mobile center of excellence is obviously focused on mobile. Uh, as it is right now, they're 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 also uh, including in that uh, tablets, but it's clearly on a converging path with with what's going on in, in video. Um, there's going to be a time when when the vast and VPAID standards are going to have to be um, revisited and uh, with an eye for for different kinds of devices and in particular uh, the applications that run within those that might be displaying video. So how does the industry manage if there's no industry standards for ads like you, you know in terms of what goes served into the iPad, let's say, people just sort of like make it up, or where does that stand in terms of the industry uh, and ads uh, around, let's just talk about the Apple iOS okay. for one. Sure. In the case of the Apple iOS, obviously, that's, uh, that's what we call the walled garden. Um, so, the, so Apple controls pretty tightly the, the types of application and the ways in which, um, uh, in which your video interacts with that device. So it's not the best example in the sense that, um, uh, in the sense that, for those who want to advertise on that device, they don't really have uh, uh, many options. Um, but if you if you think of that device as one of many, uh, you know, just on the other side of the fence, there's uh, Android and and a, and a whole variety of devices that you know that represent the Android. Um, that actually, the the fact that there are those two really characterizes the problem in the sense that. Uh, that they might they might 
uh, take a very different kind of, 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 of video or a different kind of content. <clears throat> and being able to create uh, a product in the form of a video that can, that can be served on, onto either of those devices as seamlessly, that's, that's where the issue begins to arise uh, and where the need for standardization comes up. So the answer is without, you know, without the industry coming together and, and, and identifying uh, what that standard is and, and how it would be used, uh, everyone, does it, everyone does it differently. And, and, and the end result is, is a lot of friction, friction in what we, and again, what we call the digital supply chain. Uh, and that friction makes it difficult for, uh, for money, for dollars, to flow from traditional to uh, digital advertising. Where do things stand now in 2011 for distribution of video? I mean, what are the opportunities and where might things be going? Well, I've said uh, even as recently as on the flight out here uh, yesterday, I said that, um, uh, that, that, that 2011 is the year of video in the sense that there's it, digital video is going to explode in, in a way this year that, it, that we've never seen before. That's in part a function of, um, of the, the fact that we have standards in, in VAST and VPAID that people are using and they're, and they're making good use of. But it's also in part uh, because the time is right, the devices are ready, the, the applications are, are available, the technology is developed uh, such that, that people are now consuming video in uh, so many different ways that, that have nothing to do with television. Um, and I'm I'm one of them. I, I watch you know I watch uh, TV shows on my on my iPhone. I watch them on my computer through Amazon, um, and I stream them on Netflix. I almost never sit down and watch a network TV program on network TV. So um, the market is understanding that reality, and this year they're really responding to that by you know by really putting a lot of effort into. Uh, into getting content online and 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 essentially making a push for uh, for bringing brand advertisers into that space. So we're going to see a lot of movement in that this year, more so than ever before. I can't really predict where we'll be by the end of the year. Um, uh, I think that uh, I think it's going to be a, a, a little bit of a slow process. Meaning, even as we as we refine Vast and VPAID, and as more and more um, content uh, is, is, you know, comes online, we'll, we'll simply find more and more challenges and more uh, sort of issues and, and, uh, to tackle that, that we'll need to work on to, to refine that process. But I think in the future, we'll look back and say 2011 was the year it, it really began.